For any beginner, in any sport, there is always some role model, to emulate. Table tennis is no exception. There are dozens of tutorials from different coaches on YouTube, explaining different technical aspects of the game. But the main question for any beginner is, how to find a right technique. For the views, it would be better to replace right technique, to a perfect technique. But that would be a misleading thing to say, since there is no perfect technique in table tennis. If someone would have it, he would be unbeatable. As we know, even the best of the best, can face losses, from time to time. In this video, we will share some thoughts, about finding the right technique for a beginner. For seasoned players, it probably won't be interesting, but a beginner, might find some of our ideas useful. And don't forget, to like and subscribe, if you enjoy our content. When looking for a technique to emulate, there are two crucial things to remember. First, properly evaluate your athletic abilities. Especially, if you want to have, Chinese players, as your role model. For that, you have to be in a really great form, because Chinese players use their body heavily to make those top spins powerful. We already made a video, about why the idea of pursuing Ma Long's technique, is not the best choice for an amateur player. When your athletic abilities do not match the technique you want to learn, it will cause slow progress. But the worst case scenario, will be the risk of getting injured. Don't overrate yourself, and be pragmatic. Find your strengths. Some of you, might have great footwork, others, have quick hands and wrists. Or maybe, you have a great natural feel for the ball. In the early stage, simply play and look, what aspects and movements, feel the most natural for you. Secondly, don't get caught into visuals. The movement of your forehand or backhand stroke, does not need to look sharp and fancy, to bring the result. Your technique does not need to look good visually, in order, to help you win. Especially, on the amateur level. There are so many players, who can put up good-looking training reels for Instagram. In the social media era, everyone can look like a decent player, for a 60-second clip. But when many of these young players face the veterans, who might not bend their knees that low, or don't have the footwork anymore, their good-looking technique, goes straight to the bin. Table tennis, is a complex sport, and sometimes amateurs get caught into idea, to look like pros. But as the experienced players know, table tennis is way more, than just hitting those top spins. Visuals can often be very deceptive. For example, here is the forehand technique of the Hungarian legend, Tiber Klampar. By the modern day standards, it does not look that impressive. But at the same time, such technique brought him two world championships, and three European championships gold medals, as well as dozens of pro tour and national titles. Maybe such technique does not look too inspiring to learn, but it sure did the job done for Klampar. You also can look at players, like Damian Eli or Thomas Kynot. They have pretty orthodox technique and movements, for the professional level, but again, the World and European Championships accolades are there. Of course, those are more of an exceptions, but it also shows, that you can become a really good player, with pretty much any style of play. Find the one that suits you, and develop all the necessary attributes, to make it work. Talent plays its part too, but for the most part, everything depends on the amount of time you can spend repeating shot after shot, and the patience to do it, on a regular basis. Fundamentals are important. While pursuing the Chinese technique, might not be the best option, you can definitely use their discipline and mentality in practice. They work a lot on very simple drills, until the consistency is there. On the amateur level, players often tend to learn a lot of different skills, while not reaching a decent level in any of them. If you are a beginner, don't worry about your topspin at the start. Begin with developing a good service, and a consistent receive. There will be no use of your topspin, if you cannot even get to it. And when you pick some role model to emulate, don't rush, with sticking to your choice. Liking, or admiring someone's style of play, is understandable, but your style of play, will eventually become a unique one. Don't try to be a copy, just because you enjoy watching specific player. Maybe you are taller, or shorter, than that player, and his technique won't suit you at all. Look at different players, and try different styles, before sticking with one specific. 
Sooner or later, you will feel what technique suits you the best. The rest is up to the training process and gaining experience at the competitions. The progress can be achieved at any age.